happening. The owner of Dynamic Boxing in Westland says he closed his doors mid-March. That's nearly four months without any revenue, but he says he's determined not to let the pandemic knock him out. COVID has been our most formidable opponent for sure. It's the only thing that has shut us down. Down, but not out. Chuck Phillips says Dynamic Boxing Club has been open consistently since first opening in 2005. But because of the pandemic, he says the only thing entering the ring these days is dust. It's, uh, it's been difficult. Uh, this really isn't a business for me personally. It's, we do need to keep the lights on and such, but it's been more of a ministry. A ministry for all ages and mentorship for at-risk youth, teaching them discipline. It helped me keep stay level-headed and keep me on the right path. Jerico O'Quinn says he started at Dynamic in 2009 at age 14, alongside his brother Rob. He since won several national titles and most recently became WBO champion. He's turned into an outstanding young man. And we're real proud of him, and we know it's done that for several individuals. It really piggybacks on outside of boxing. It just teaches them how to have structure as a adult. How proud are you, Rico? Very proud, very proud. One of the best fighters I've ever had. Paul Susi, who's rubbed shoulders with the greatest, co-owns Dynamic. He says the closure is a safe move, but the final bell signaling the end of the shutdown can't ring quick enough. I just can't wait to get started again, develop new talent, keep the kids off the streets so they don't get in trouble. Now, Phillips says he has been able to maintain the club financially so far. Now, he's hoping that in a safe manner, as safe as possible, that they'll be, re be able to reopen the boxing club this fall. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.